Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at a concept called wet dry mixing. No, we are not doing baking today. Instead, wet dry is actually a term often used in audio mixing, even though this entire concept can be extended beyond that. Essentially, the term comes about when you want to actually apply an effect to a particular audio signal. The dry signal refers to the original signal, that is the one with no effects applied to it, whereas the wet signal refers to the signal that has the effect on it. This then leads us in very nicely to wet dry mixing. Now, I'm going to start talking about this in the context of audio, but remember that we can actually apply this further. Now, some audio plugins are actually limited in the sense that they cannot apply a subtle effect. They must go all out and, you know, completely affect the signal. So what do you do if you find that the affected signal is too much? You want to make it more subtle, but, well, the plugin doesn't actually give you the capability to do that. One thing you can do is to perform wet-dry mixing. That is, you take the wet signal and a dry signal, remembering that this means one is affected and one is not, and essentially, by playing around with their volume levels and mixing them together, you can make the effect more subtle because essentially you are lowering the volume of the effect and actually mixing the unaffected track into the affected track. I hope it's not too confusing. Basically, the idea is you have something with a strong effect and you mix it with something without an effect. Obviously, you can tweak their individual levels, but the idea is when you eventually mix them together, you get a more subtle version of the effect. As I've mentioned, this does not apply only to audio. You can even do this for image editing. For example, if I'm color grading a picture and I decide that I really like this combination, but I find this effect too strong and I like it, but I like it a little bit less. So what I can do is I can actually apply that and then undo, copy out the unaffected picture and paste it as a new layer. So what I have here is the wet and dry version of the same image. I can then tweak around with the transparency of the wet layer or whichever layer that's on top and as a result, attain the exact same effect that is wet dry mixing to make the effect more subtle. And there you have it. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. I hope you learned something today and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Hello, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember that I appreciate every like, favorite, and comment you give me. If you'd like to see more from me in the future, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more updates outside of YouTube, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at 0612TV. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.